Thank you for watching this special episode of Project Paranormal. And as a special treat to you for tuning in, we'd like to give you a sneak peek at some of the exclusive footage you'll be seeing in 2010. In the coming months, we'll sit down with J.D. Robb to discuss her exciting new release, Fantasy and Death, which will be in stores in February. And be sure to tune in for another behind-the-scenes look at Charlene Harris's Suki Stackhouse universe, a world sure to be turned upside down when Dead and the Family hits shelves this summer. Jane Ann Krentz will also be stopping by, and we'll even find the time to learn some zombie combat moves, and even go underground with Kat Richardson. And no look at the world of paranormal fiction can be complete without a look at Rachel Kane's sizzling Morganville Vampire series. And who better to fill you in than Rachel herself? The Morganville Vampire series is a young adult series. And the main character, Claire, moves to a small town in the middle of West Texas called Morganville. Uh, she was accepted into a lot of very prestigious universities at early admission at the age of 16. Her, her parents did not want her to go all the way across the country. They felt that she needed to get to get a grounding in the in the college world first at the local community school. Um, unfortunately, the local community school is in a town that's run by vampires, although they don't know that, uh, or they probably would have let her go to Harvard. Um, the uh, the series basically revolves around Claire and her her uh, her friends. Um, she moves off campus into a house and has three roommates uh, who all have varying levels of secrets to hide. Uh, and none of them happen at that point to be, uh, to be vampires themselves, but they all know about the town and they all have agendas. Uh, I, it, it's a lot of fun because there's, there's a great deal of friendship in this, in this series. Uh, and a great deal of romance too, because uh, she she ends up falling in love, and and it's it's a lot of fun to write. The original plan for Morganville, in my mind, was that it would be a six book story arc, and I built the plot so that the big battle for Morganville was going to occur in book six. Uh, while I was actually working on book six, uh, the opportunity came up to have more Morganville books. So I thought, well, it's, I just don't want to drag it out. <laughs> I want to end this story arc, and I, that will give me more opportunity to go different places in Morganville. So that's what I'm doing, is, uh, is as each individual book after that comes up, it's addressing a different aspect of Morganville, or we're following different characters, uh, or characters doing different kinds of things. In Kiss of Death, which is the next Morganville book. Uh, the, we actually send them out of town on a road trip um, with Oliver, which is probably the worst idea ever, at least as far as four kids in a car are concerned. Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in to Project Paranormal in the new year. Now that's a resolution you can keep. Thanks for watching the special holiday episode of Project Paranormal. Join us next time for more exclusive behind-the-scenes information on your favorite paranormal books and authors. Everybody here at Project Paranormal is sending you warm holiday wishes. Here's hoping that whether you're standing under the mistletoe with a vampire, werewolf, or human, that you're spending the season with someone you love. Cheers.